In the past few moments, it's been confirmed that a bailout deal for Uniper has been struck with the company's majority shareholder, Finland's Fortum. The deal will see the, the German government take around a 30% stake in the utility, with Fortum's holding to be diluted to 56%. So the price action in Uniper has been quite volatile just in the last couple of minutes. It was up significantly, then dropped uh, uh, down to about minus 4 percentage point. But you can see right now the stock is up at 2.7 percentage point. I just want to bring you actually uh, some of the key announcements that have come out just in the last few minutes. Um, First of all, what we have found out is that this stabilization package will comprise of a capital increase of approximately 267 million euros at an issue price of 1.7 euros per share. The capital increase will exclusively be signed by the Bund, that is the German government, and will lead to a shareholding of the German government in Uniper of approximately 30%. This is taking into consideration the capital increase. So that 30% bailout number has now been confirmed following this announcement. There's, they've also announced a mandatory convertible instrument in the amount of up to 7.7 .7 billion, and that shall be issued to the German government as well. And as for Fortum, well, they have been granted the option to acquire parts of the mandatory convertible instrument from the German government. The acquisition takes place against a transfer of the repayment claim from a 4 billion euro loan. Also, just a quick word on the KFW credit facility. Uh, that shall also be increased from Euro 2 billion to Euro 9 billion, and the intended use shall be expanded. There's also one very, very interesting line, I thought, uh, from the government, and this is uh, about the pass-through of replacement costs. And the reason, just to remind viewers, the reason that Uniper got itself into financial difficulty is because it was forced to buy gas at wholesale prices that were uh, very, very high, very, very expensive as they tried to find alternative sources away from Russian gas. And they were unable to pass those costs on to final consumers. So they were running at a significant loss, uh, mounting to millions of euros on a daily basis. And now the German government has said that during the negotiations that it intends to introduce a general mechanism for all gas importers to pass through the replacement costs for missing Russian gas as of 1 October 2022. So 